Hello internet friends, I am Ryan and this is Demos in the Dark and tonight we are going to be looking at a new one from a pedal builder that I've had some interest in for quite a while so I'm glad to have gotten the call. Tonight we are looking at the TFZ from Baltimore Sonic Research Institute. TFZ is a discrete clipping amplifier pedal that allows you to go from, you know, a nice light overdrive all the way to just crushing fuzz. Crazy, crazy crushing fuzz. And it does it all with four knobs and three switches. There's a ton to get out of this pedal. I'm going to run it down here on a mix on multiple guitar tracks as well as bass and then come on back here. We will run through this thing all by his lonesome. Let's take a deeper dive into TFZ from Baltimore Sonic Research Institute. I will be using a Scythe Guitars OH-19 into a 1967 Fender Bassman. It sounds like this. So let's attack these knobs one at a time. Up top, we have a level control, and there's enough output volume on this with running pretty much no gain going. You can push the front end of your amp just slightly. Now, if 
these were humbuckers, that would be far more substantial. But they're strap pickups, so. Kitty corner to the level we have the attack control, and the attack is the input gain to the circuit. So think of that as more or less your distortion or fuzz control. When you go clockwise with it, it is going to be gainier than it will be if you go counterclockwise. So let's turn it up about halfway. <laughs> We have a texture control, and the texture control does some weird stuff. It adjusts the voltage fed to the portion of the circuit to change both the dynamic range as well as the character of the clipping. So let's turn that. I think the easiest way to describe it is if you go all the way clockwise with it, it's going to be less sputtery. And if you go counterclockwise with it, it's going to be far more starved and sputtery. So here we go. we have here is a voice control and that is a tilt EQ so clockwise is brighter counterclockwise is darker <laughs> these toggle controls let's start with the top one the top one is a voltage control and this controls the range to the texture control a uh, good rule of thumb is to the right it is going to be clear less compressed and then if you turn it to the left it is going to be far more compressed and far more sputtery <laughs> to skip over this middle control for now and we'll move to the bottom and the bottom is a clipping selector if you go to the left with it it will be the least amount of clipping if you go to the middle it's a medium amount of clipping and then if you go to the right it is a lot of clipping and the reason i am doing this one first is because this interacts with the middle control very very well and so i want to do that second <laughs>
right, so last we had this tuba megaphone selector, and what that is is it's two different ranges feeding the clipping section of the pedal. Megaphone stays tight and guitar-like, while tuba will offer some sub-octave type frequencies. It's very, very cool. And it's also very interactive with both the texture control and the clipping selector. So we'll start with some basic samples and then we'll start intertwining that with these two other controls. <laughs> So you have it, that was just a brief overview of the TFZ from Baltimore Sonic Research Institute. It does normal stuff, it does crazy stuff, and it does everything in between. And if I'm being totally honest, this is the pedal that I wasn't sure how I was going to get along with, because I know the history of BSRI is very rooted in heavy music, and that's not something I do, but turns out this is just a great all-around buzz to have on your board, whether you're doing heavy music or whether you do pop music like me. So I like it a lot. So thank you to BSRI for sending this over, and thank you to you for your time. Mm -hmm. 